uh, one of the first case uh, uh, which uh, would warn us to be uh, very cautious when we label of a family of having an inheritable condition is originated from 1927, the Buck versus Bell case, in which Justice Holmes made an infamous statement that three generation of degenerations are enough, referring to an 18-year-old uh, woman case who was forced to be sterilized because that time they believed that uh, she's having an inheritable condition of a mental disease. Um, but our thinking about uh, genetic disease or genetic conditions and also conditions which affect of the neurodegenerative conditions have changed since that time. I think that uh, not only scientists know much more about the human uh, genome and also specific genes which might uh, show the susceptibility to certain conditions, but the consumers, the society, the law and ethicists also elaborated new ideas in this field. Uh, one thing which should be the basis of all legal uh, thinking in this realm is that we should respect the autonomy of the person who is uh, willing to undergo testing. And uh, uh, secondly, before any genetic tests, it's very important uh, to really check whether the person uh, knows uh, what does it mean later on, um, uh, the results of a susceptibility test. These are not uh, the part of the common knowledge yet, and I think that even um, a family doctor may not be able to tell all the consequences of such testing. Some people simply identify themselves as belonging to a certain patient's group, those who might have uh, developed a genetic disease later. We often believe that the internet can provide this secrecy as person uh, with codes they would like to ask their information beforehand. Healthcare systems have not yet uh, developed adequate uh, policies how to deal with that. We know on one hand uh, the Oviedo Convention and also the additional protocols are very much emphasizing in Europe that we need to have um, genetic consultation in any cases when we deal with uh, predictive testing. Privacy, um, right to privacy, has become an important value and uh, a right in the field of genetic test uh, because it provides an answer and a legal arrangement for the situations of how genetic samples are collected, in what way they can be used in one particular research or in the clinical agenda and also where it can be and what conditions could it be disclosed to third parties and also it provides answer for the retention of uh, genetic samples. Uh, we often forget about it that privacy is not equal to medical confidentiality. It is a much more broader concept. It also provides an active role in the patient's decision. The patient can uh, control what should be done with his uh, genetic samples, with the information which is derived from uh, these samples. Uh, for instance, um, it would violate privacy if uh, genetic samples are taken covertly without the patient's knowledge. It can be done uh, even by a family member or it, if it's used uh, secretly in, in other context. Uh, now we live in a time when genetic tests are often done uh, one year or even a longer period of time after the person uh, visits a clinic. And um, this of course might provide a uh, possibility to test uh, the patient's samples for other conditions which has been agreed with the patient. Uh, privacy, right to privacy also responds to these cases and provides a uh, an important right uh, for the person to decide what can be done with the uh, genetic uh, samples and how information can be disclosed uh, to other people, to third parties. It's often uh, stated and it also follows from the European data protection uh, norms that uh, the data which is stored, and it can be a genetic data as well, cannot be used for 
further purposes other than the original purpose for which it has been collected. We cannot, for instance, cross-link different types of databases, one which has been used for forensic uh, context uh, for criminal justice purposes or, for instance, for uh, establishing paternity or for medical or for research uh, purposes. So privacy is really a fundamental right which provides a lot of important uh, answers uh, what can be done with a sample of a person. Mm -hmm.